Hello guys and welcome back to a very special video. Today, an unexpected thing happened in game, making this update phenomenal. The Demarca mystery has ended. No one saw it coming, but the ending is now in game. This is not a ghost flash. I felt this had to be in a different style. Now, before we begin, if you want to know how this mystery has happened, what's led up to this point, I'll link my mystery recap playlist in the top right now. Alright, now for those of you who just want to see oh, what's happened and don't think there's anything big, let me tell you, this is tall tale level stuff. It's 100% worth doing this in the game, so you know this is sort of a guide for you guys as well, so I'll say a spoiler warning before I show the ending, because it really is worth experiencing in game. You could take this straight out of a pirate's life. So, where did we leave off? Well, we left off with Lissetti telling us that everything was a lie, that Lantern, everything we've done so far, it's all been false and leading us in the wrong direction. But who is the culprit? We then found her spyglass on crooked masts. So then, let's do the small amount of prep that there is. So, people were emailed fragments of maps, and when these fragments were put together, they revealed five islands around the map. And on these islands, if you stand in a particular spot and use the spyglass, then you'll see some objects align. Standing on these objects and playing Ballad of the Mer will reveal a mural. But this mural isn't just on the island. Deep inside the Shrine of the Coral Tomb, the same mural will be somewhere there. Now, to unlock this final part of the mystery, you have to go around these islands. Now, huge thank you to Murphy Lullaby for publishing this, these spyglass guides over on Twitter. I'm going to play them in the video now. Please do go check them out. They're an amazing group of people. They literally saved my life so many times for covering these mystery recaps. So, just go check them out. I'm going to play them now. So, here are all the different island locations. Okay, there we are. Now you know, you know, where to go, how to get the murals. After you've done this, you're going to go deep into the Shrine of the Coral Tomb. You're going to complete the shrine, and then you're going to go onto this ledge here, and there you'll see all the murals are lit up. And then after a small delay, the door will open up for you. Now, here is your spoiler warning. I'm about to play the ending, but before I do, I just want to say a few thank yous. First off, thank you so, so much to Captain Butterfinger of the Midnight Order. Because I was at a point where I really didn't want to do this, and he stepped in and he said, you know what, Ghost, I'm going to help you out. And so, you know, massive thank you to him. Please go check him out on Twitter. You know, give him a follow. You know, he's a really great guy. Secondly, to Merfolk's Lullaby. I've mentioned these guys again. Basically, if you haven't heard of who they are, they're, they're a great resource. They're, you can find them online. They've got a website. They're on Twitter. They do so much for the game. They've got storm trackers. You can track the in-game storm. They've got history, everything you could want to know about the lore. They've got just so much there. They do adventures. They do cinematics for adventures. They do, obviously, the mystery stuff. They've got a whole mystery board, which helped everyone. They really helped me create some of these videos. So they're amazing, especially their founder, Scully. You know, go check them all or follow them. They're just great guys. And the ancient Arts University, again, really devoted to working out this mystery. Amazing group of people. And I'm sure I've missed out so many, but just everyone that's been keeping this mystery alive. Because there were some points where it was getting really dark. So just thank you to everyone. The community is great. You know, you're all absolutely amazing. So, you know, th thank you for watching. I hope you found this guide useful. But anyways, 
just a small thing you might want to note as well. But um, they've actually added commendations for these. They've added a whole mystery section for commendations, which is pretty cool. Anyways, here we go. Here is the ending to the DeMarco mystery, the first ever mystery to hit the Sea of Thieves. Another land dweller sees through my illusion and wishes to avenge the death of the sea dog. No matter. I have entombed his sister. And soon I shall do the same to you. here as my song spreads across the waves, enthralling your kind to blindly follow my riddles as pirates always do. Your minds are so easy to bend to my will. shall come to believe that their noble pirate lord is the ruthless killer of his own son. He shall be cast out, and the world above shall descend into chaos. Pirates will no longer pose a threat to my dominion. Enough! You killed my son, took my daughter, and why? All because you wished pirates to witness the wrath of the merciless Pirate Lord. Your Majesty, your wish is my command. No! Dad? You're here. How did you know? The Sea of Thieves faces so many dangers. That is why I came here once before, to seek peace with the Sirens. I asked DeMarco to be my envoy, a bridge between the two worlds, but he refused. He chose to depart rather than watch his father make such a foolish mistake. When I let slip that DeMarco was leaving, the Siren Queen saw her chance to discredit me. The logbook. The mutiny, even if I had spoken out, few would have believed me. The Queen is gone now. People will come to their senses. They'll understand. Perhaps. But that won't bring DeMarco back to us. For that I have only myself to blame. We mustn't lose hope. DeMarco's soul may still be out there somewhere. I won't rest until I know for sure. 
That's my girl. Now, it's time for us to leave. I've got a lot of explaining to do.